So the next element on our info online module is going to be vehicle technical data. So when we select the vehicle technical data, it's going to ask us to give them specific information on the engine because even though they're pretty similar and electronically they're the same, 12.8, 350, and 370, they have differences. So for technical data, let's make sure that we get the right one. We're going to click on this one, for example, and we're going to go in about and see what information is available. The vehicle technical data is pretty much the information from the manuals that normally should be on a PDF somewhere or in a document. But most of the times we don't have and we're searching Google for it or we're calling our friends at the dealer to help us out. So here we have specifications for the engine plate, shows you how to read the engine code and gives you all the information about that. But important things is when you start jumping into the engine distribution. So it shows you how the different phasing works. When we click on it, it tells us what each one of the wheels are. So drive gear of the oil pump, crankshaft, intermediate gearing. So when we're looking at B, crankshaft drive gear, that would be right there. So that's going to help us identify where they're at. And then the most important ones that you have to time, it's going to show you the timing right there so that there's no loss in the process. We continue. This one's a fan favorite, accessory belt. We all know that there's a sticker that's supposed to be on the truck, but we also know that it's normally never there. And it seems a lot easier to put back before we take it off than when we actually have to put it on. So right here, we're looking at 20 to 30 minutes in savings versus doing it on your own. I mean, you're going to get it eventually, but do you really want to? Continuing down that process, it's going to show us the different formats. So here on the oversupply, this is how it works. This is how it's set up. These are the different steps on it. So it's also a good way to get your younger techs or people that are learning how to improve their skills to go through the process, understand all the elements, follow the instructions. And then you jump into one that's going to be very important, which are the different torques. So normally people tighten them to where they think they're tight enough or until it doesn't go anymore. But here will give you the different stages for different elements. Crankshaft, first stage manually, second stage 37 foot pounds, third 111. So it's going to give you what stages are based on the manufacturer requirements. And that way, you know that the torques are tied into the actual elements. Cylinder head. There's a few there, so this is going to be important as well. And you're going to see this across the board for different elements. Same liquid and capacity after treatment system values. And it's pretty much going to be a guide to where we don't have the information or we're not going to know this by memory. So the tool is going to associate it to the different engine systems through the electronics, give us the options and show us what we need when we need it within the same tool. So forget about searching in Google. Jalsas Info is going to have you covered for that.